Hello everyone! How are you? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and this time, let's see if your answers are correct for the assessment and additional activities part of your Module 5. And this is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Let's have the assessment. The graph shows the percent of various age groups in Barangay Matiwasay. It has an estimated population of 33,500. Question number 1. How many percent of populations are 71 years old and above? Hindi siya naka-reflect dito sa ating pie graph class. May question mark lang. Now, take note. Di ba, yung isang buong circle ay 100% yan. Di ba? So, para malaman natin yung tamang sagot, so, i-add na natin itong lahat class. Tapos, yung sum niya ay gagamitin natin sa pag-subtract sa 100%. Okay? Para mas malinaw sa inyo, let me show it to you. So, ito yung 25% for under 10 years old. Then, we have 30% sa 11 to 30 years old. And then, we have 20% for 31 to 50 years old. And then, we have another 15% for 51 to 70 years old. I-add natin yan, class. So, we have 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is how much? Yes, that's 9. So, meaning 90% ito lahat. Na ito. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha natin yung part na to, so, isasubtract natin yung 90%. Na itong total ng mga to. So, meaning, we have 10% na lang natira. So, yung 10% na to class, yan yung mga 71 years old and above. Okay, that's the correct answer for number 1. 10% yung 71 years old and above sa barangay Matiwasay. Number two, how many people are in the 31 to 50 years old group? So, dali lang. So, kunin natin yung total, which is 33,500. Yung 31 to 50 years old is 20%. That 20% is equal to 0.2. No? 0.2 sa decimal. So, 2 times 0 is? Yes, that's 0. 2 times 0 is another 0. 2 times 5 is 10. 0 carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, that's 7. And 2 times 3 is 6. So, isang decimal place value ito. Maglalagay din tayo ng isang decimal place value dito. That makes it 6,700. So, yung total population ng 31 to 50 years old sa or sa barangay Matiwasay is 6,700. Ito yung final answer natin. Number 3, what group has the greatest number of people and how many are they? So, yung pinakamarami class, ano? Yes, no? yung malaking portion ito class. Diba? So, ang answer natin dito ay 11 to 30 years old. Ang greatest number of people. Pero how many are they? So, ilan sila lahat? So, ibig sabihin, yung 33,500 dito, imamultiply natin siya sa 0.3 or 30% yan. 3 times 0 is? Yes, yeah, 0. 0 times 3, or 3 times 0 is? Another 0. 3 times 5 is? 15. Carry 1. And then we have 10. Carry 1. And then we have 10 also. Okay? Isang decimal place value. So, yung tamang sagot ay 10,050 people yung uh, 11 to 30 years old. Number 4. How many people are under 10 years old group? So, ito class. So, multiply lang. It's very easy. 33,500, multiply natin siya sa 0.25. So, napakadali lang. So, 5 times 0 here is? Of course, that's 0. Ito. 5 times 0 is another 0. And then, 5 times 5 is 25. So, 5 carry 2. 5 times 3 here is 15 plus 2 is? 17, carry 1. So, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1, that's 16. Punta tayo sa 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 
2 times 0 is another 0. 2 times 5 is 10, carry 1. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1, that's 7. And 2 times 3 is 6. So add natin yan, we have 0, 0, 5, 7. 6 plus 7 is 13, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 6 is 8. So dalawang decimal place value, maglalagay din tayo ng dalawang decimal place value dito. So, yung final answer natin for number 4 is 8,375. Ito yung final answer natin. Number 5. If 51 to 70 years old group is added to the 31 to 50 years old group, how many will there be? So, para masagutan natin yan, of course, i-add natin sila, di ba? Yung 15% na 51 to 70 years old, I-add natin sa 20% ng 31 to 50 years old. Ito. So, how much is that? Yes, that's 35%. 15 plus 20. Yung 35% na to class, yan yung multiply natin sa 33,500. Ito yan. So, that's 0. 0.35. So, 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. Another one. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry 2. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. Carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1, 16. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5, 15. Carry 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1. We have 10. Carry 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So, i-add natin yan. We have 0, 0, 5. 12, carry 1, we have 7, we have 1, and 1. Di dalawang decimal place value ang ilalagay din natin dyan. So, yung total nilang dalaw ng dalawang age group na yan ay 11,725 na katao. Okay? That's for number 5 sa assessment. Let's proceed to the additional activities. So, same pa din, na Yung ibinigay na may, may ibinigay na pie graph, tapos... This represents the Judith's income in 22,500 pesos a month. She makes a pie graph on her expenses. So, yung mga expenses dito class. Out sa 22,500 niya na monthly income. Number one, how much money does Judith spend for house rent? So, ito yung house rent niya class, 15%. So, 22,500, i-multiply natin dyan sa 0.15. So, it's very easy. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So, let's have 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1 times 2 is 2. We will add. 0, 0, 5, 7, 3, and 3. Dalawang decimal place value. So, magiging 3,375 pesos yung final answer natin. Ito yung intended amount for the house rent. Number 2, how much is her expenses for food? So, ang 35%, i-multiply natin yan sa 22,500. Okay? Para to sa food. So, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 0, 0, 5 times 5, 25, carry 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, carry 1, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 5 is 15, carry 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 3 times 2 is 6, okay, so add natin yan. We have 0, 0, 5, 7, 8, and 7. Dalawang decimal place value. So, yung final answer natin dito ay 7,875 pesos yung expenses niya para sa kanilang food or pagkain. Number 3. How much more money is spent for house rent than the transportation? So, may comparison na naman tayo dito class. I, sa subtract na naman natin yan. So, yung house rent natin is 22,500 times 0.15. No? Ito yan. So, nasoble natin ito kanina, di ba? So, 0, 0, 25, carry 2, 12, carry 1, 
and 11. We have 0, 0, 5, 2, 2. So, add muna natin yan. 0, 0, 5, 7, 3, 3. Nasob na natin ito actually kanina, di ba? So, that's 3,375 pesos. Next is, we will solve for the transportation. 22,500. Dimultiply natin yan sa 0.1. Ito yung transportation niya plus 10%. So, we have 1 times 0, we have 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 2 is 2. So, isang decimal place value, so meaning may 2,250 ang kanilang expenses for transportation. Isasubtract natin ito, class. So, we have 3,375. Isubtract natin sa 2,250. 5 minus 0 is 5, 7 minus 5 is 2. 2, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 3 minus 2 is 1. Mas malaki ng 1,125 pesos ang expenses nila sa house rent e compare mo sa transportation. Ito yung final answer natin sa number 3. Number 4, what percent of her total expenses is the bills? If you notice dito class, wala ibinigay na percent. So, katulad din kanina sa assessment, meron din, may, meron din problem like this one. So, i-add muna natin ito lahat, tapos i-subtract sa 100. Yung difference nila ay magiging bills na portion. Ito yung class. We have 10% for transportation, 15% for house rent, we have 35% for food, and 25% for savings. I-add natin ito. So, we have 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. 15, carry 1. So, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 is 85. So, yung 85 natin, isasubtract natin ito sa 100. So, 100 minus 85 is, of course, that's 15%. Yung 15%, yan yung ating final answer for number 4. 15% ang bill nila na uh, expenses. Percent lang naman kasi yung ibinigay na or na itinatanong sa number 4. Number 5, how much does Judith save for the month? Ito yung class, savings niya, 25% daw. So, 22,500, i-multiply mo yan sa 0.25. So, 0, 0, 25, carry 2, 10, 12, carry 1, and then we have 11. And then we have 2, we have 0, 0, 10, carry 1, 2 times 2, 1, 5, and then 4. Okay? We have 0, 0, 5, 2, 6, and 5. Dalawang decimal place value, yan. So, yung tamang sagot ay 5,625 pesos yung savings nila for one month. Ito na yung final answer natin for number 5 of your additional activities. And that is all about your module 5 class. I hope you've learned something. And... Thank you so much for watching and participating. See you next time, everyone. Keep safe.